In this episode of IOTA, I'm going to show you how to set up AF micro adjustment and AF fine tune so you can guarantee your lens will hit perfect focus. First thing we need to do is get set up. You want to unlock the spider lens cowl and place the ruler in the correct orientation with the main target so that the back is vertical and the ruler is hooked up with this little bump on the back. Then I'm going to put it on a stand, but you can use a tripod or just put it on a desk or a table. Then you want to set up your camera. I already have my camera set up, which is a 5D Mark IV with a Sigma 35mm lens. Make sure autofocus is on and you're in either aperture priority or manual mode. Your camera should be set to the widest aperture. In my case, it's an f1.4. Also, while you're setting up your camera, you should change your camera's contrast and sharpness settings to the maximum, so reading the spider cowl is easier. Next, we need to set up the distance between the camera and the spider cowl. This requires some quick math. You'll take the focal length of the lens and divide that number by 10, and that's how many feet you should have away. So if it's a 35 millimeter lens, divide that by 10, you'll get 3.5, so you should have it three and a half feet away. If you have an 85 millimeter lens, divide that by 10, you get 8.5, and you want it 8.5 feet away. Remember, the spider cowl and lens camera should always be in parallel positions at the same height, with the front of the lens parallel to the front facing target on the spider cowl. With that set up, we can start testing out and adjusting. Aim your camera at the small bullseye in the center of the spider cowl and take a shot. Then go into photo review on the camera and zoom into the ruler next to the target. Take a look at the markings and numbers on the ruler to see which one is sharpest. This mark represents the center focus determined by your camera and lens autofocus system. If your camera and lens combination is correctly calibrated, then the line at zero should be in sharp focus. If the picture is not sharp at zero, your camera and lens combination is not on. Check the ruler to see whether the front or rear section is sharper. If the lines behind the zero mark are sharper, then the lens is back focusing. If the lines in front are sharper, then the lens is front focusing. To calibrate a back or front focusing issue, go into the camera menu and find AF micro adjustment for Canon and AF fine tune for Nikon. Then select adjust by lens. Now, depending if the lens was back or front focusing, you will need to adjust this closer to the camera if it was back focusing and farther from the camera if it was front focusing. Set that and go back and take another test image. Keep adjusting until the sharpest zone is centered on zero. Another quick tip before taking a new shot using autofocus, defocus the lens manually to make sure its autofocus is working properly. Sometimes if the lens is almost focused, it won't autofocus again. Repeat the calibration process for each of your lenses. Also, if you have a zoom lens, you'll have to do the same process for each of the extremes of the focal length. So if you have a 2470, then you'll need to do it at 24 millimeters and at 70 millimeters. That's it for this episode. Hope it helps you get the most from your lens. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and like. It lets me know you want to see more. Also, check out the IOTA playlist to catch up on the rest of the episodes. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. And as always, happy shooting.